Hey guys, it's Kristen McGee. Welcome to my powerhouse yoga program. This class, we're gonna focus on waking up the core. You don't need any props, unless of course you need a block or a strap for some of the stretches or standing postures. And so let's get started at the front of our mat. Okay, so let's get started. Nice, tall, comfortable seat. You might wanna rock side to side, pull the buttocks flush back, really anchor the sits bones, and then try and move a little forward over your sits bones so you can gain access to the pelvic floor muscles, but bring your uh, heart center back in space and start to soften the ribs. So the very first thing we're gonna do is called TVA breaths. And I did this a lot post-pregnancy with my twins because I had a diastasis or a split in the abdominals. But this is so great for all yogis to really find that core strength. So your hands are just gonna wrap around your ribs you're going to inhale a breath through the back body and then exhale go ha 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 and imagine those ribs knitting in front and the abdominals really drawing together inhale exhale ha 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 shoulders down the back one more inhale exhale ha Ha, 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 ha. Really feel that shaky shake, tremor of truth in the abdominals. Feel the lift of the pelvic floor. Close the eyes, rest the hands on the knees. Inhale a deep full breath again through the back body. And start around a Kapalabhati. Short, sharp exhalations out the nose. <laughs> Keep pumping the abs. Feel the energy bouncing off the underside of the brain. Get rid of any stale thoughts in the mind and really start to fire up the core muscles. X, 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 X. Begin to slow it down. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Empty all the air out. Inhale to fill up. Lift the chest to the chin, drop the chin to the chest. Keep hollowing out the lower abdominals. Keep floating the back ribs up off of the hips. Keep engaging the root lock, pelvic floor muscles. And when you can no longer hold the breath in, lift the chin, release the locks, exhale all the air out. Beautiful, come forward onto hands and knees. Hands are under shoulders, knees are under hips. I want you to really press through the inside of the palms, thumb and forefinger especially. Inhale, arch and look up to the ceiling, but in your cow pose here, still engage the lower abdominals. Exhale, round and hollow out through the spine. Pull the belly button up. Inhale, arch and open. Keep a little engagement in the core here. Don't let it all hang out. Exhaling, round. Scoop in the belly, tuck the tailbone forward towards the nose. Inhale, arch. And exhale round. Now stay really rounded. Bring your left knee a little closer to your right knee. Pull your right knee up to your nose from your abdominals. And then exhale, extend the right leg back. Look forward on the mat. Inhale, knee to nose, hollow it out. Exhale, extend and lengthen. Long energy through the back of the knee. Inhale, knee to nose. Exhale, extend and lengthen. Now stay here, balance an imaginary teacup on the lower back and stretch the left arm forward. Draw the abdominals in and up. Narrow the front bottom ribs. Pull the shoulders down away from the ears. Keep lifting the inner right thigh a little higher so that the hips stay level. Now bring the elbow to the knee, hollow it out again, and exhale, extend. Inhale, so tap into that core power. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Now take the arm out to the side, the leg forward, and come back to center, hug the midline. Inhale, reach open, exhaling, close. Inhale, reach open. Exhaling, close. Place the left hand down. Push the ball of the right foot into the mat. Lengthen back through the heel and stretch the Achilles. And then slide the left knee forward a tiny bit. Turn the right heel down and raise the right arm up. Curl the tailbone under. Soften the shoulders down away from the ears. Find your midline here. Gather the ribs together in front. Lengthen through the underside of the left body. And then take your right arm and circle it around a few times. Try and stay completely stable in the core, and then reverse it. And then come back to hands and knees. Flip that right heel around. 
Bring your left knee back to meet your right leg so you're in a plank, shoulders down away from the ears, hollow out the belly, and then just drop the right knee and lift, and then the left knee. Don't let anything else move, right and left, right and left, right and left, right and left, two more, right and left, last one, and left. Beautiful. Drop the knees, lower the chest, the chin. Slide through to a baby cobra. And here, just like in your sway back horse position or your cow, keep lifting the abdominals in and up, even in your back bend. And now exhale, press up to hands and knees. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale, arch and look up. Exhaling round and hollow. Draw the right knee a little closer to the left. Tuck the left knee to the nose. And then extend that leg straight back, lengthen. Inhale, knee to nose. Exhale, extend. Knee to nose. Extend and stay. Stretch the right arm forward. Feel the length and opposition from the right hand to the left toes. Narrow the front bottom ribs. Draw the belly button to the spine. And then elbow to knee. Inhale. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, now open to the side, not easy, and close, and open, and close, and open, and close. Now place the right hand down, push through the ball of the left foot, lengthen back through the heel. Maybe slide your right knee forward a tiny bit, turn the left heel down, open the left arm to the ceiling, curl the tailbone under, soften the shoulders down away from the ears. So when you pull the scapula down away from the ears and you really gather the shoulder blades onto the back, you're engaging the secondary powerhouse. And now take their left arm and start to circle it around. Try and keep still with everything else. Pelvic floor engaged, belly button to spine, and now reverse it. Circle around. And then bring your left hand around as if you're going to come back to all fours again. Press through your left heel, find half of a plank. Scoop in the abs, and then stretch the right leg back to meet the left. So now one straight line of energy from heels to head. Gather in the ribs. This time, both knees drop and lift. Don't move anything else, though. Inhale, exhale. In, ex. Four more. And three. And two. And one. Excellent. Now, slowly lower through chaturanga. Keep your ribs engaged. Don't let your belly button fall open as you go into upward dog. Belly button to spine, lift. And exhale back to downward facing dog. Beautiful. Shake it out. Flubber out the lips. Spread through the toes. Now lift your sits bones up and back and notice how that kind of splays open the front ribs. Keep the action of the sits bones lifting up, pelvic floor engaged, but then hug the midline. Gather the front ribs together. Find your core in your downward facing dog. Really engage the powerhouse here. Shoulders come up away from the ears. Smash imaginary marshmallows under your palms. Tap into your breath. And as you inhale, inflate the back body. And as you exhale, narrow the front body. Another deep full breath in. And deep full breath out. Walk the feet up to the hands. Fold over the legs. Take opposite elbow. You can sway a little side to side. Keep scooping in the lower abdominals to float the chest over the thighs. Nod the head yes and no. Flower out the lips. And then release the hands and really scoop through the abdominals. Tuck your tailbone under and slowly round up to stand using the powerhouse. Stack the vertebra one on top of another. Step to the front of the mat. Big toes touch, heels together. So here, circle the shoulders down and back. Find the opening in the collarbones and the chest, and then gather the ribs together. Find that lift of the pelvic floor. Find the lift of the lower abdominals. Float the arms up, but keep the ribs soft. Really fight to draw the ribs down, away from the fingertips reaching up. Shoulders away from the ears. Breathe in. Breathe out. Engage the pelvic floor. Breathe in. Breathe out, inhale, and then exhale, swan dive forward, hands to feet. Inhale, lengthen forward, 
and exhale, step the right foot back to a lunge. Push through that right heel, just like we did on all fours, as if someone's yanking a sock off your back ankle. Step your left foot into a plank, one straight line of energy. Draw the belly button to the spine. Lower chaturanga, don't let your shoulders round forward. Inhale to upward facing dog, keep drawing the belly button to the spine. Exhale to downward facing dog and breathe, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, lift the sits bones, draw the belly button to the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Press your thumb and forefingers. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, the right foot forward, lunge. Exhale, the left foot forward, fold. Inhale, swan dive up to stand. And exhale, the arms to the sides. Inhale, the arms come up. Palms press, belly button to spine. Exhale, swan dive forward. Hands to feet, forehead to shins. Inhale, lengthen. Here, especially hollow out the lower abdominals. Exhale, left foot back to a lunge. Press through that heel, spin the inner left thigh to the ceiling. Right foot to plank, one straight line of energy. Lower down through chaturanga. If you need to do knees, chest, chin, that's fine. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog and breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep gathering the front ribs together. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Inhale. Left foot lunges forward. Exhale. Right foot forward fold. Inhale. Swan dive up to stand. This time exhale. Swan dive to the floor. Inhale. Lengthen and look forward. Keep looking forward as you step or hop back. Lower down. Lift up. Press back. Inhale. And exhale. So try and go wrinkle free in the ankles. Lift the fronts of the ankles. Lift the inner thighs. Notice how as you engage the inner thighs, it comes right up into the pelvic floor muscles. Right up through the lower abdominals. And then the chest starts to float forward. Crown of the head towards the fingertips as the shoulders lift up and back. Keep lifting the sits bones up and then slightly curl your tailbone under. Find that kiss of the pubic bone and the tailbone to engage the pelvic floor. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, step or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, swan dive up. One more time, exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, lengthen flat back. Exhale, step or hop back lower down. Inhale, lift to upward facing dog. And exhale, press to downward facing dog. Great work. Shake it out. Lower the lips. Notice how everything starts to warm up. Keep the connection of the abdominals. Keep drying in the front bottom ribs. Hollowing out underneath the belly button. Tipping the sits bones up to the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, step or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, swan dive up. And exhale, arms to the sides. Beautiful. Inhale, bend the knees. Sit back in an imaginary chair. Lift the arms up. Press the palms or keep the arms shoulder width apart. So here especially, see if you can find that core engagement. Keep lifting and lengthening out of the lower back. Soften the shoulders down. Pull the ribs together in front. Zip up a tight pair of jeans. Keep gathering in the lower abdominals. Lift the pelvic floor. Sit a little deeper. And then swan dive forward, hands to feet. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or hop back to lower. Lift to upward dog. Press to downward dog. Turn your left heel down first. Step your right foot forward. Use the core to step the foot up. Come into warrior one, hips forward facing, belly button to spine. Exhale, lower down through chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. As you're finishing your exhale, turn your right heel down. Step your left foot forward. Try not to lift your hands even. More core work. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Inhale to lift. And exhale to press. Breathe in. And breathe out. Wag your tail if you need to. Keep drawing the shoulders up away from the ears. Try and hug the armpits around the heart center. 
At the same time, spread the collarbones wide. Spin the inner elbows towards each other. Press the thumb and forefingers down. Take a deep breath in. Step or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees. Sit back, Utkatasana. Straighten and release the arms. Samastatihi. Inhale, awkward chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, upward dog, belly button to spine. Exhale, downward dog. Turn the left heel down. Step the right foot forward. Use your core. Inhale up, warrior one. Exhale, lower down. Keep the breath flowing. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, press back. Turn the right heel down. Step the left foot forward. Inhale up to warrior one. Tailbone under. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. And exhale to stay. Shake it out. Flubber the lips as you need to. Spread through the toes. Try not to get lazy in the core. And keep activating the powerhouse. Keep hollowing out the lower abdominals. Keep knitting the front ribs together. Crown of the head lengthening forward towards the fingertips. Deep full breath in. Exhale, step or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, sit back. Utkatasana. Straighten and release. Just one more time. Inhale. Awkward chair. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Lengthen out, exhale, lower down, inhale, lift, exhale, press, right foot warrior one, use the full breath, inhale all the way up, 